RJ has been blossoming in front of our eyes, Foxy. He's been doing phenomenal things out there on the court. Yesterday had 35 points. Uh, he's showing that he can be a scorer out there. He's starting to break down defenses, get into the paint and finish. And we're seeing him use his right and his left hand. So what have you been seeing from uh, RJ out there offensively that you think has led to this offensive explosion recently? Like you said, uh, what I love about Knicks fans and the Knicks fandom is that we love our players. So it's like us having a baby when we draft somebody. So this is like our baby boy blossoming before our eyes. And he is spectacular. He was, he's been magnificent. And especially the last two games, he's 9 out of 11 driving to the basket and finishing. And like you said, several over the last two games and several of those with the right hand. So he's using his size and physicality. Uh, you know, we know he's an elite catch and shoot from three. So him driving like that. You saw that look in his eyes. Uh, he had that killer in his eyes. Like, you can't stop me. And he looked like he like he studied some James Harden and the, him dribbling between his legs, getting his shake on before going for his move. So, uh, you know, he's magnificent. You know, also his passing. He had some wonderful, and we talked about this off the air, that uh, the chemistry between him and Mitch. So his passing his driving, his shooting, folks, if he, you know, adds that mid-range jumper like we've been talking about, increases that foul total. Right now on the season, he's a little over 17 points per game, uh, about a little under six rebounds a game, three assists, shooting 48%, field goal, 38, a little 38 and change from three, and 73, 74% uh, all rounded off from the foul line. Folks, if he gets that mid-range jumper, gets his, uh, he's only 2%, you know, the gold standard is 50, 40, 90. So he's 2% off from the field goal at 48, 2% off at the three, and we know it'll be better there. So if he can get that foul shooting up, 20 points per game, here we come. And we haven't even touched on his all-world defense. Uh, that has been magnificent. That... Uh, you know, shout out to Tommy Beers. He had a thing that said uh, Jason Tatum is shooting, I think, 46% against everybody else in the league and shot 18% uh, when RJ guarded him. So we have something special, folks. Yeah, definitely. And uh, uh, Foxy, we were talking about RJ specifically in the offseason and some areas that he needed to improve. And I have the numbers up. One of the areas we discussed was him finishing around the rim. So I have stats uh, for his percentages at finishing around the rim from cleaning the glass. And then I also have stats uh, from less than five feet, less than eight feet, and also in the restricted area from NBA.com. And as you can see, there has been a dramatic improvement in RJ Barrett's finishing around the rim. Now, also, I want to specify that this is a small sample size, but if RJ continues to perform at these trends, he's going to have a, a pretty good season, and I think he's going to step up and be potentially the number two option on this team. Foxy, how have you seen RJ's improvement around the rim benefiting his overall development as a player? Pretty good season. I think he's on the cusp of being an all star. But I think he's out, he's on the, having a great season. Hey, finishing is everything, and I think a lot of it is the mental game. You could see when you you miss a bunny that you're you're clapping your hand and you're like, damn, how did I miss that? So that those falling in for him, uh, him taking better angles and like we said, using that physicality and everything, it's everything. And like we said uh, uh, last year. Uh, what, what did RJ do last year uh, per game? Or I had it here. Um, basically, uh, RJ uh, this year, um, is, uh, like we said, 17 points, one finish, and a couple other foul shots. He's a 20 point scorer. So that's, you know, and this is a young kid. You know, he's first learning the game. He's, he's in the league, but, you know, 21 and change. Wow. The Lord has been good to us. We have a gift here, and we saw Zion. Uh, <laughs> So uh, this, you know, everyone like Zion, Zion. No, man, RJ is going to have a much better career than Zion. Yesterday, I said he looked like Mabel from the WWE, man. Holy moly. I think he needs to date Jenny Craig or something. He was huge, folks. It was like, man, talk about junk in the trunk. Holy moly. <laughs> but uh, RJ is, and we're seeing it before our eyes. So, uh, yeah. And, and also the closer. 
you know, we, we were seeing all these little things. And uh, Inf last night, shout out to our guy Inf. He mentioned it on the on the show last night with uh, Keese. And he's 100% right, man. This is the next thing we're seeing, the driving. We're seeing all these new elements to his game, his handle. And now if we have a closer, whoa, how much leverage does that give us? It gives us everything, man. So I think he's, uh, you know, we had the most improved player in the league last year. Folks, we have a really good shot two years in a row to have RJ be the MIP again uh, this year for the Knicks. Yeah, we have a lot of potential uh, candidates when it comes to trophy time at the end of the season. But RJ, I, I think, has definitely started to blossom this season. I know some fans were kind of cautious about his start to the season. He didn't really get off and, and he didn't have that marquee moment like Akimba did in the garden. But now these last two games, we're seeing who RJ can become as he starts to develop. Remember, he's only in year three. We're only six games into the season and he's already shooting pretty good, you know, 68 or 38%, as you mentioned. And if you look at his finishing rim, around the rim, 55%, up to 74% this season, shots less than five feet from the rim. He's shooting that at 71%, which is up from 52% last season. And then at shots under eight feet, he's shooting at 64% this season compared to 49%. So you take all that, you take the 38% uh, shooting from three, and then you add in the defense that we're giving or what we're being given from RJ out there on the court. He was able to go out there and make sure that DeMar DeRozan did not take our hearts as Knicks fans by forcing an extremely difficult shot to close that game. You already mentioned how he was a pest for Jason Tatum. And I expect RJ to continue to get better as the season goes on. You know, we have new pieces on this team. So this team isn't even running or firing on all cylinders this yet so as this team continues to get better we're going to see rj you know be able to do a little bit more as well like facilitating you said the point with Mitchell six Robert rebounds three assists mm -hmm. throw those in yep yeah all yep. around man you can't ask any more yeah i like the way he's able to perform as a facilitator too that's something i've always said rj has the ability to do and with the fact that he's now able to create off the dribble he's finishing at the rim something that defenses have to respect now it's going to open things up for players like mitchell robinson Obi when they're on the court together and and even nerlens noel if he's able to catch when he returns <laughs> what was that last part <laughs> <laughs> then nerlens noel if he's I able thought to you catch, said when he catch the ball <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, Mr. Butterfingers. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, but we need Nerlens back. So hurry up back, Nerlens, man. We need you, man. Definitely. Nerlens is a key piece of this team defensively. And, you know, uh, as long as he starts catching the ball, I think he'll see a, a increase in his points per game. Yeah, and, but like you said, uh, that that that's uh, that's gravy. But for us, him being that help defense, you know, if somebody breaks through our guards into through the paint, to have somebody there as a intimidator and a deterrent and uh um that's what uh you know new orleans does so uh yep so foxy any other young two-way players or young two-way prospects in the league you think could potentially challenge rj for for that title as being the best two-way young talent in this in this uh league Oh, that's a great question. You caught me off guard. I uh, I don't, uh, you know, offhand. Um, there's a lot of good players. Um, DeAndre but Hunt is one of them when he's firing Cam, off Cam's, Cam's coming into his own at mm -hmm. the end of last season, as we saw. And Reddish has put up a couple 20-point games already. That Yeah, so you have that. and uh, Zion went healthy. We already mentioned him. He's a player uh, on both ends of the, of the court. Yo, you did your investigative reporting last week. We saw the size of him and with a Jones fracture and everything in that foot. Hail Mary, full of grace. I'm glad we didn't take him number one. <laughs> didn't take yeah. him three. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I Zion, I wish the kid well, but I just don't see a long career with somebody that size and uh, the way he plays. So, yeah, so getting back to your question, uh, yeah, there's uh, some nice kids in the league and stuff, but... Uh, uh, I think all around the key parts, some of them have one nice part. RJ is like, uh, I think Jimmy Butler, I see, you know, just uh, trending out Jimmy Butler with a better offensive game. Yeah, yeah, it's a very versatile wing for us. And I'm extremely happy we decided to draft him. I know some people were chirping saying we made a mistake, but now, uh, you know, it looks like you know, I don't want to say I'm Monday morning quarterback or anything, but if RJ is going to continue to play like this, he is going to be a star for a very long time 
in yeah. this league. And that look in his eyes, we talk, talked on it that he wants it. He He's like looking at the players like, come on, I got you. So uh, I love that dog. This is New York. Him going through the struggles, he is the perfect player for New York. We could have got some other buddy with potential, but you see them wither under the stress of New York media and fans. This guy is built for New York. We're very lucky, and you know what? He's going to get the bag. Yep, yep. It has that killer instinct, and it looks like he thrives in high-pressure situations, and that's exactly what you need here in New York City. Word. All right, so Foxy, going to move ahead, and we're going to talk about the three-point... <laughs> 